the art studio, fine art classes for children, teens, and adults. Art classes are ongoing throughout the year. For call us at 626-351-4266 to schedule a class. Located at 3825 East Sierra Madre Boulevard in the city of Pasadena. Our studio is located at the corner of Michelinda and Sierra Madre Boulevard. Also visit us on the web at www.the-art-studio.biz. We look forward to seeing you soon. So since I have these basic simple shapes in front of me, what I can do is I can start refining them and making my lines a little bit clearer and cleaner. So for example, I know that I started it very lightly. That's because I wanted to build the foundation of this. So once I have that on the paper, the idea is to make every object correct in relationship to each other. For example, the distance from this object to the onion. Okay, that needs to come over. I'm still correcting as I refine right there. The distance from here to the top of the orange. So as I correct, I make my lines a little bit harder. The base of the orange to the base of the apple in relationship to one another. Here's an angle the base of this orange in relationship to this apple. This apple could be a little bit lower. Okay, So if you're starting to get a lot of lines in, what you can do is take this kneaded eraser and just take away the lines that don't exist right now in your still life. Okay, So do that. Come back and start refining. So from here, let's say, to where this is, this goes a little bit lower, right there. Okay, here's a little line here that will identify what that part is. Okay, this is where the handle starts. If you look carefully in relationship to one another, okay, this part of the vase goes downwards. Okay, here's the apple. That's where the stem goes out. The apple in relationship to the lemon. Right now, the lemon is too high up, so what we want to do is bring that down. And looking at the distance from here to this, it's very important that you do that because it's going to correct this lemon, the position of the lemon, immediately. And then looking at the distances from here to here, let's say, that's correct. Distance from here to here, that's correct. Now, if you realize what I'm not doing is I'm not focusing on one area. Okay, I'm continuously moving through the whole uh, setup. That's very important because you don't want to get caught up with just one single part, let's say this part of your drawing. You want to move through the whole setup okay, and build this entire drawing with harmony. So here's a little part right there of the stem of this orange. Okay, now the onion okay, starts right there, the top of the onion to the orange. That's correct from the side of this onion to where this part is of the onion. So it's going to overlap the vase a little bit right there. Okay, And then this has a little thing growing out of there. Okay, So if you look carefully, the distance from the onion to where this red apple starts, okay, it's right there. Okay, I'm going to put a little indentation. Okay. Once again, looking at the angles, you always want to uh, keep your attention on the distances and as a whole. For example, uh, where is this in relationship to this, the angle? Okay, you're always taking a look at where things are all the time. And the idea is to feel like you are in control. Okay, so from let's say here to this, this could be a little bit wider. Okay, right there. Here's the handle, so I'm moving the handle a little bit towards the right. OK. 
Okay, this goes down a little bit. Now, if it gets too messy, with your fingers, you can just soften the lines out if you want. Or, better yet, use the eraser. Okay. And as you realize, when you hold the pencil, right now, as you refine, you can hold it further up. Okay, because that will give you better control at this. Okay, I'm, I'm clarifying my lines now. Okay, no more shapes, but correcting the lines that you have, making the image cleaner. Okay, so here's the apple once again. Okay, I mean, you can spend hours at this, but we're not, we don't have that much time. So what we'll do is sort of say that we're almost done with this. Okay. Here's an accent line right there. Here's an accent line right there. Another one here. Okay, come back here. If you wanted to shade just a little bit, you can do so. Okay, which will give it more depth. All right, right there, right there. So a few things, just, uh, just as a little review, okay? When you're starting a sketching, I mean, this is nowhere close to being done, but when you're starting a sketching, the idea is to simplify it in your mind, okay? So what I did was I looked at the highest point to the lowest point, side to side, okay? Here's one big shape. This is where the three objects went, okay? Right next to it, here's another one from highest point, lowest point, side to side, okay? Here's another shape. And then within these two big shapes, what we did was drew smaller ones right there, okay? Here's another one here. Now this vase had multiple shapes. Here's one, and then here's another one, and here's another one, and this, okay? So that's how we started this. Then as I had planned, drew the foundation, I started to refine each line to one another, okay? So you can take this to the extreme, you can relate, refine, and uh, have fun, okay? Thank you.